of God. Amen. We're discerning that Christ is in our midst. Amen. God, the Holy Ghost is here to teach. Amen. We're yet very, very grateful that His grace was not frustrated in our life this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's open the Holy Bible together by faith. As we're encouraging and praying for our neighbor and ourselves, that we take heed how we hear. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. That we'll receive the words of God this morning as they are in truth, the very words of life. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank mm you. Mm-hmm. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. For it is God. Amen. All right. Woo. For it is God which worketh in you. Amen. Thank you. Well, that's words of a praise break right there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy, thank you. He don't need no help from us, neither. Uh, he went to working in our human spirit, didn't he? Amen. Hallelujah. When, we, when he got through with us, amen. We, we can't even describe what happened to us right. when God got to working in us. All right. amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Which worketh in you both to will. Okay. okay. And to do of his good pleasure. Hallelujah. 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 Now that's tight. We can't mess with that. A baby can understand that. Oh, that's tight. Hallelujah. Amen. Now if you look at John chapter 12, the Gospel of John, verse 49. For I have not spoken of myself. All right. But the Father which sent me, sent me. he gave me a commandment mm -hmm. what I should say. Amen. All right now. All right. Ooh. And what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life, everlasting. Amen. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, mm -hmm. even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. All right. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's real tight. That's, that's in red. That's Christ talking to it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's look at John chapter 8, mm -hmm. verse 18. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, let's hold up on that. Let's go to John chapter 5 first. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Christ time. <laughs> John chapter 5 verse 17. But Jesus, verse 17, but Jesus answered them. My father worketh hitherto in our work. All right. Okay. Okay. Verse 19. 
Then answered Jesus and said unto them, unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. All right. Oh, come on now. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Amen. Okay. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. Ooh Somebody should come up and slap and say, read it again. <laughs> okay, let me sober up. And he, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. Glory to God. That's all I have time to read this morning. I know you want to read some more. But I draw our attention to these scriptures this morning that are inspired by God. It's proper for doctrine, for reproof, correction, for instruction in righteousness. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. To prepare us for the call of grace. Uh, amen. Uh, for the call. Uh, we, we don't. Uh -huh, thank you. And I draw your attention again to our latest publication, well, not our latest, but our publication, Seven Aspects of God's Grace. Uh-huh. Seven. You get those seven, you'll be well on your way. And um, the call of grace. Grace has a call, an expectation, and a manifestation. Can we say the threefold work of the call of grace? Oh, y'all was a little slow on that one then. All right. Take heed how you hear. <laughs> Amen. It's shouting time. It's shouting time. Yeah, I'm going to shout here in just a minute. Let's see here. Remember, can we say remember? Remember. That grace is defined as the divine influence upon the heart and its reflection in the light. Now, why would the Holy Ghost say to us after reading three chapters? Okay. Remember. Remember. Why you want to help us? See, go back and remember that definition. All right, go back. Uh -huh. See, I already know that definition. He said, re remember, bring it to your remembrance for you advance any further in, in this publication. I remember the book, is it by Madam uh, Gunyan, a guy on, uh, on the, uh, the prayer life. It was something about the prayer life. And so the first three chapters, I believe, I read. Then it said, she said, stop. Do not read the rest of this book for two years. <laughs> so who waiting two years to read this book? <laughs> now I know why she said it. All right. You see? I see it. Now you got to be somebody to say don't read the book for two years. Now we're so smart. The Bible says God inspired Bishop to write the book. Amen. And so we, in other words, it's really the Holy Ghost talking to us. Amen. So we have to orientate ourselves to, to, to say, this is God's talking to us. All right, Amen. Amen. And so the Holy Ghost said, remember now, go back. What do you know about the definition of grace? And if you don't, go all the way back and get it together. Bring it to you, remember, and then we can go on together. All right. Okay. And we are saying that the, the definition of great should be so crystal clear to every believer. Every believer, amen. Uh -huh. It should be crystal clear to every believer. Crystal clear. So that they'll know how to govern themselves. And how to feed their own souls. Amen. And with this definition, right. they're able to go on to things that God has called us to. Now, do you know the definition of grace? Do you know it's the, the benefits of grace? All right. 
the favor of grace, the, favor. the acceptance of grace. Uh huh. Jesus is Lord. Do those words mean anything to you? All right. Have you meditated on the definition? Oh, don't be like me, so proud that God got to wait 19 years for he let you All read right. the book. See, I thought I had read it and put it down. Bishop said, read it seven times. Okay, I read it seven times. Okay. I didn't know that God resisted me because I was too arrogant. I thought I didn't have to read no book seven times. And that was in 2003. It's 2022. <laughs> and you appreciate that as we go further, okay? So we think that we, we'll get to it later. We don't know that God said, you're too arrogant to read it right now. I don't waste my grace. All right, all right, talk to me. You, know, I don't, you don't take a, a, a dirty cup and pour your four dollar organic water. You just drove the pine bluff to get it. You don't pour it in no dirty cup, do you? All right, talk to me. All right. Hey, go out there and get a dirty can. And you done pay four dollars for this water. Yeah, one dollar. Yeah, uh, you're not going to pour it in no dirty cup. Amen. All right, let's go further. Now, here we go. Now, after we remember, we go back and meditate on the definition, orientate ourselves, and catch up. Amen. Grace works from the inside out. Amen. All right. All right. It don't work from the outside in. Amen. That means uh, no, no books, no, book. no government, All right. no institutions, uh, none of this. It's grace, because you can always tell grace, because grace works from the inside out. Amen. Okay. Okay. Out giving the motivation right, and right. energy. Right. Okay, now here you go. Hold on, fasten your seatbelts. Right. To do what God Himself. Oh, wait a minute now. Ooh, wait, boy, if you got that, we should have shouted. All right. <laughs> to do what God Himself is doing. Now, that has two implications for us, okay? Two. Uh, one, that you got to have such... See, Christ and grace function the same way. Amen. Now, we look at how grace, how Christ functions, then we know how grace functions on the inside of us. All right, talk to me. Christ said, I don't do nothing but what my Father say. I only do what I see him do. Amen. He said, I got a commandment from him. I got a commandment. What to speak and what to say. Now I ask myself, do I have that type of relationship that God then told me what to say and what not to say? Say. See. And that comes from having an intuitive relationship with God so that God can download in your uh, spirit that he worked in so that you can receive commandments from him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What to say and what not to say and what to do and what not to do. He can show you how to do it. He'll show you what he's doing. Amen. See, saints think it's primarily what we can do. But it says here, uh, hallelujah, that grace works from the inside out. It is God who working in us. Amen. Amen. Giving the motivation and energy to do what God himself is doing. That's what Jesus Christ said. I'm only doing what I saw him. Uh, but he ain't told me to do. All right, talk to me. They cut out all the funny stuff, all the extra vision, all the ideas, and all of those stuff. If God hasn't told me to do that, you're not going to have any motivation. I'm not going to have any energy, and God's not going to give no grace to that project. I don't care how building it looks. I don't care if it got stones all over it, and it looked like the seven wonders of the world. Jesus is going to say uh, 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 every stone is going to be unturned, overturned in it. All right. Because God didn't give no grace for that to be done. God only gives grace to that which he is already doing. Amen. Not some wild idea I came up with. All right. <laughs> and see, that's why it has to be crystal clear that we understand grace so we won't be frustrated. Why do I not have, I started out with full energy. Why do I not have the motivation to get up and do what I said God told me to do? Because it wasn't what God was doing. Amen. See, you only give grace for what he's doing. So that means we got to look at all our little projects. 
and see if that's what God is doing. If it ain't what he's doing, then we got to humble ourselves and come to God and discard that project. Because there ain't going to be no grace for that project. Oh, all right. Maybe this do. Okay. See, I didn't even got to the... the to, See, when you humble yourself and God get to humiliating you, when, the, when it says, remember that grace is, then you sit back. You sit back. Say, let me do what the, the Holy Spirit said. Not what Bishop wrote, but what the Holy Spirit said. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. See, I got so many projects that I thought that God was doing. Right, and because of my arrogance, it took God 10 years to even get me to realize that he's not doing that. Right. I'm crying and praying, where the money, where the people, where the workers? God said, he's not doing that. All right. <laughs> God want to give grace for what he's doing. What, did I say something wrong? <laughs> it's right here in the book. It's right there. I didn't have to go to no conference. Oh, no conference. Oh. It's right there. It's right. See, saints like me, we, we get so excited about being gifted and, and knowing it. I run off and say, I'm going to do something great for you. You see? Okay. Then when you get out there, the motivation ain't there. All right. And the energy ain't there. there. Glory to God. You started out with a full tank, but God didn't refill you. Right. No, no, mm -hmm. Now you got to go to the manipulation ministry. God told me for everybody in here to give a hundred dollar offering. Because I don't want to start something that God wasn't doing. Now I got to sustain it so I can look like God started it. But uh, it's getting rough now. <laughs> I don't want got this beautiful church front building with uh, uh, central air was new, everything was new in there, the carpet was new, the ceiling was new, but God ain't doing nothing over there like that. All right. You see? And so God is not trying to say we stupid, He's just saying that. It, it <laughs> 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 He's just trying to give us some vice. If you want your grace, in my life. Listen, I'm only pouring out grace on what I'm doing. Amen. And that, if I want you to do that, I'm going to do that. And I don't need no outside help because I work from the inside out. Amen. You see? Thank you. I don't need no help from the outside. All of it comes from the inside. Amen. Your spirit communing with his spirit. Amen. He's talking to you and you talking to him. He's giving you commandment. But see, well, most believers like me uh, haven't heard a commandment from God, if they ever heard one, for years. You see? I just assume that I'm going to do a good work. God going to please, be pleased with it. And then when it starts looking like God ain't ha doesn't have anything to do with it, then I go to work for real now. I'm at Bank of America. Saying we we are a good godly group. We're in the community doing work here, and we wonder can we get along against this building? You see, we find ourselves doing things to sustain what we thought God would sustain. That's why we have to back up and make sure that we have intuitive uh, uh, communications with God, so He can speak to our spirit. Okay. And so that grace can influence our heart. Amen. Grace is the God's divine influence upon the heart. And God is influencing the heart to do what he is doing. So we can fulfill his good pleasure. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. That's what God is doing. Amen. Grace is not to uh, save us for, from legitimate debts that we made or the legitimate situation we put ourselves in. It's not a catch-all for all of that. Right, you know? It's here that, uh, 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 that, that God will give grace to give us the motivation and the energy to do what God himself is doing. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why Jesus said, greater works than these shall you do. All right. Amen. See, it took me years to figure that out. All right. 
He was talking about those that are orientated to grace. grace. Amen. 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 All these outside influences influencing you. You know, you ought to, you, you ought to go start your own fellowship. Yeah. See, it don't sound like a bad idea at all, does it? No, no. You, you gifted, anointed, and pointed. Go on. Go on. <laughs> and you get out there, God ain't doing that. No, he ain't doing that. No, he ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. See? Uh, I see it. Oh, let me read it again. Mm -hmm. Grace works from the inside out. I had to read it two or three times myself. All right, under. But, okay, let me go down and sit here. Let me read this. Mm -hmm. uh, the calling of grace is so powerful. It's so powerful. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't even know how powerful it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just had to just say, Lord, have mercy, have on, mercy me. on me. So awesome. So awesome. See, people think the call is just nothing. There's nothing to it. But uh, that's not the call of grace if there ain't nothing to it. Amen. <laughs> the call of grace ought to shake you up. Ask Paul when you see him. All right. <laughs> well, he, he was. It's so awesome. Have you got the call yet? It's so awesome. <laughs> have you come out the house and your wife and your children say, what happened to you? <laughs> That it takes a revelation. revelation amen. See, God got to give us a revelation of grace. Of grace. Amen. He, 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 you, you can't go by this at Mardell's. All right. It got to come from the inside out. And your intuitive fellowship and communion with God, your spirit communion with his spirit, then he's going to give us a revelation of grace. Amen. So when the call comes, we'll know what's happening. Amen. And we won't go waste our grace on some projects that God not even doing. It's not even worthy of his name. It's not even worthy of his name. It's not even worthy of his, who he is. Mm -hmm. Same. You see? I see it. God wants us to do projects that he himself is doing. Amen. That's what the grace is for. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Christ is always on the inside of us, communing with us, saying, now, uh, let, let's stick with the plan now. Because Christ and grace function the same way. Amen. It says, the call of grace is so powerful, so awesome. If you look at all the men that got the call of grace, they were all shook up. Shook up. You see? I see it. Isaiah was shaking and trembling. What's going on here? He didn't know what was happening. The temple went to shaking and rattling. The smoke came out the top. He said, oh, Lord, God, I'm an unclean man. It's the presence of unclean people. He said, settle down. I'm going to take care of you. All right, amen. Thank you. <laughs> he fell out. Okay. Okay. See? I see it. Now, we have to examine ourselves. I'm examining myself, and I'm... I'm real careful because, you know, I'm saying, man, do I have to toss that out? <laughs> Is God doing that? All right. All right. I done labored for years on that. Do I have to toss that out? All right. Mm. I'm like negotiating. Can't I keep that? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. If you want my grace. If you want, grace. Now, if you want to work it out yourself. You, you, you certainly can try, but I'll let you know I'm going to be resisting you. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. So I had to do a quick overview. I was too, 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 too um, uh, fearful to really look at it thoroughly at the moment the revelation came. Because I was thinking about what I was going to lose, not what I was going to gain. All right. You see? I see it. So that got to go. I said, they probably got to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, God is not trying to scare us, make us feel bad. Amen. He's just trying to adjust us to the call of grace. Amen. You see, he's just trying to call us and adjust us to the call of grace. That's all. That's all. Thank you. you want to know why you're, I'm not answering them prayers? Because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You can fast and I stand on my head, right. do a 21 day water fast only and stuff, God. You know, God said, I'm not in that. <laughs> That's why you're struggling to think about food every day. Every day I say, oh, I'm going to get me something. I put that to the side. But in the 21 days, go, I got a stack of food right over there. <laughs> try to eat it all at one time. <laughs> Oh, 
Glory to God. I remember my brother Thomas was staying with me, and I was doing a 14-day water fast, and I was saying, when I get off my fast, I'm going to eat that sandwich. I come home, he ate everything up out of the store. <laughs> I was so mad at him. I couldn't say that every time I save it, say I'm gonna get this when I get. See, when when the grace of God call you on the fast, you're not thinking about food. You're not thinking about. Food. Oh no, you're not thinking about food. Mm -mm. Cause God gave you the motivation and the energy to do it. See, you're not even. He works with me inside out. You know what I mean? I'm in there hiding out to sundown. If I could just make it to sundown. Didn't go to sleep. <laughs> Drank a gallon of water. <laughs> well, beloved, I said as clear as I can. Take another look at the call of grace. Amen? Amen. All right, God bless you.